Hey, how's everyone doing? It's Jax M93 here, and we'll be coming up with another United States Marine Corps video. Even though this is not everything I have, I still have a lot more of this. Some is coming in the mail, and some is right behind me. But this is just the stuff that I have right now, and I want to display with you guys. So, let's jump right into this. Alright, so, right in front of us, we have a Jungle First A pouch, dated 1945. I just have some stuff in here just you know, like, to prop it up, but there's no materials inside. Um, blood, uh, you can see all over it, stains, yep. And then, just to make sure, these are definitely not United States Marine Corps ca um, canteen covers. This is some random canteen cover I have. I, I think not valuable at all. This one's kind of a nice one. I think it's infantry, but it's a really nice one. But this is not United States Marine Corps. I just have these here just for my belt. That's all I have. But I do have a Marine Corps canteen right here. You can see right there. It's a pattern three, third pattern. And yeah, we'll get to that later, but that's right there. Right there. But, anyways. Yeah, so. Yeah. And I have two canteens, uh, cups in here. I think it's like 43 and 45. I'm not quite sure. But, alright, so we have a night M1911 Colt 45 pistol holder, um, day 42 in the back, um, all leather, interior with metal, of course, you know that, but, anyways, we have a first aid pouch, uh, nothing about it, but we do, but I do have a M1910 pouch, a first aid pouch, day 1942, we'll get that in a little bit, but, this is day 1942, I have a whole bunch of these, but that's the one that's ha happened to attach to my belt. Um, I'm getting a new belt, by the way, too. I need one. I, I need. I feel like. Um, I think I need a new one by now. But anyways, yep. And this is a. This is not United States Marine Corps. I mean, it might have been, but I'm really un. I'm pretty sure it hasn't, because there are specifically United States Marine Corps um car M1 carbine um pouches. Um. Uh, M1 carbine pouches. We carry two mags, and it is up to, mostly 44 and 45 dated. And the, um, they wouldn't have this in the front; it would be on the back. And it would be like the pin that we use snap into here, or this it would be like way up here, right there or something. They would use snap in in there. It says U.S. right there, so this is not United States Marine Corps belt. Been wanting one of them for a long time. I cannot get my hands on them. I can't really find them at all, anyways. So yeah, that's on the on the belt so far. Then we have some regular United States Marine Corps spenders. Um. Then we here we have here a M41 upper pack here. Day 43, United States Marine Corps. And what's inside of it is um a Operation Just Cause jacket. It's not anything World War II related, like um the jackets inside. It's just to hold space. I don't want to get any like negative comments on that and saying well you should use original, but I have a whole bunch of these and I'm just filling in space, put it that way. So it'd be all propped up, like I said over here. Like I have just um some stuff in here and basically just prop it up. I don't have the correct stuff in here yet, but I'm gonna start working on this so I can get the correct and, um materials so it'll go in there. Anyways, so yeah, and you can tell here the the strap that will wrap around your um shovel. TN shovel is missing, and the thing, the rivets, but right here, with like the bayonet, j just like right here, it would be right here, and one for the shovel, where it would attach to, to the rivets, and it's torn off, kind of really sucks. It doesn't matter because I don't even have a shovel for it. Only shovel I do have is for my um, M1928, or yeah, M, I think it's M1924, yeah, M1928 um, haversack, pretty sure. I'm not quite sure on that, but anyways, that's all I have uh, for this. Oh yeah, and I have a homemade um, sea ration. You can go to Word document and just um, type in like uh, sea ration with soup and all the materials and all, all the ingredients inside. Um, but then you print it out and you can tear off the original labeling on some super can that you have in your house, and then you just tape that around. And so that's what I have in there. And then I have a mess kit, day 45, and I have a Japanese flag, which I got for, like, two years ago, $10. I 
and then what I do is ripped it up, and then I um and then, and um stenciled uh Japanese writing in it that I copy off a real Japanese flag. So it's in there actually I think it's a smart idea, but I do have an original Japanese flag Japanese flag but it's behind me. Anyways, um moving on I have a lower pack M forty one model lower pack day forty three you can look at because it's not close. See right there? Wait. Shoot. Yep. Right there. Oh, in the back of it. Oh. The guy's name. You can see his first name. His first name. His initials, first name, his middle name. Then you can see his last name, but it's quite hard to identify. But yeah, it's that. But then these HPT pants uh, are not. I am pretty sure these are not original. Um, because they have, they have buttons that are plastic buttons, not metal buttons to say United States Marine Corps. But, I mean, who knows, maybe this guy, this was it, but, and then the guy, uh, uh he lost all his buttons, <laughs> somehow lost all his buttons and he sewed new ones on, they just found. And, and see, he sewed this up, he fixed his pocket, and the back of the same thing, the, the same buttons. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe he had to use the sewing kit to do that. And we'll never know, but it's sure had beaten up, I can see. Um, Japanese occupation money, invasion money, what do you want to call it? Um, yep, right here. This money is really worthless. Think about it. Anyways, uh, this is a... This is a um, embroidered, um... Embroidered variation of the original Second Marine Division because of uh, the torch. It's different than the other ones. It's like a little tiny flame. It's just a big flame in the middle. So, just another variation of the Second Marine Division pouch. I mean, patch. Looks really nice. Um, I have I have another one. K bar. It's a uh, United States Navy and it's stated. Um, it's dated um, 43 or 42, I think. Anyway, before we get into that, but we have a point forty two United States Marine Corps. I've been really wanting this for a long time. We haven't got my hands on it. As you can see, it looks like this is green, and this is, I mean, and this is khaki. But this is, I'm telling you, this is not all khaki. You can probably get a better view of that right there. Oh shit. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, this is a K bar. It's um you can see the leather's been stamped and the Marine Corps insignia and this is Marine Corps K bar. Um yeah, so K bar and, and just inside of it on the um I'll whatever, I'll just show you. Right there, see? It is Marine Corps. Is shoot. Okay. There we go. Right there. Nice the Marine Corps and K bar. Orlean, New York. Okay, I'm going in the wrong direction, so let's do it like that. Alright then. Now we have a pocket. Shoot. We have a pocket, pocket knife. Marine, uh, United, States, um, United States Marine Corps. Or they would call it the sample knife um, as pocket utility. Or the demo knife. And this, this was um, developed in 44 and 45. Right here. Underneath it is nice, not really corroding, and then the top is starting to corrode. The metal is completely beat up right here. But yeah. Really nice. But I mean, it's really rusty and it's really difficult to get this out. The blades out. But I just have this some rubber bands for reason there. Oh, shoot. Anyways. That's that. And guys if, you guys, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe. And if you guys want to have more of this, these really interesting videos, make sure to subscribe and <laughs> give a like. So, <laughs> so right here, I mean, I'll just give a definition of this right here. This is in the, in the beginning of World War II. The Marine Corps had the Thomasons SM Thomas SMG um, machine guns, um, or SMG Thomas wait, yeah Thomasons Thompson SMG um, machine guns. And the first Marine Corps had these in the beginning, then they started getting with the, um, instead of the 50, 50 round, um, drum mag, they would have the stick, uh, I think the stick mags, 
I think that's what they call it, or drumsticks, I'm not quite sure. But that's what they had instead of the drum mags. But yeah, I mean, it's really nice to get a, it's a replica, of course, but it's the same weight and it's uh, really nice. So, I cock it back. Yeah, I make that noise. Anyways, um, before we get into anything else, I want to tell you something about this. Um, even though I have this as an M1 Grand cartridge belt, and it should not go with this really loaded out, but I'm just putting it in here because I really want to show you guys. And I really want to get a replica of the M1 Grand, and I want to get a sling with it too. And I want a bandolier too, <laughs> from War 2. I have mostly like Korean War and Vietnam. But yeah, so, yep. Moving on, we have an HP, regular HPT hat with insignia here, utility. Um, you can see inside here is broken. I think this is like a fiberglass thing. But it's broken inside. Carbon fiber, I'm not quite sure. Um, then there's labeling right here. Yeah, it's not really a better view. Come right here. This is a horrible view. Shoot. Yeah, here you'll see. It just says like random numbers. I be a serial code or something. It says like nine. It's like nine four one something like that. Hmm. Then here is my M nineteen ten um first aid pouch. Dated nineteen forty two. I got one that's coming in the mail. It's dated nineteen eighteen. So I'm really happy about that. I do one M nineteen twelve first aid pouch, but. There's one even going right now, but it's fifty dollars for something else. I don't waste fifty dollars on something that looks like it's re reproduction. There's no really datings on it, so you know I'm taking. I'll just wait and hit and hold on until something else new comes out or another um product comes out. Anyways, so I'm not. I'm not really. Um, let's say. Know a lot about my ranks um because i'm not quite sure my rank my i don't really know much about my ranks but all i can say is stamped here it's stamped um his rank is stamped here coming down here really hard to see but you can see it's faded away down here it was stamped again up here just over here the same thing coming down there stamped three times up here you can see his first name his middle name his last name and stamped up here too same as there then right there um, you guys, know, his Marine Corps. These are just my dog tags. Nothing special about them. Um, four buttons. One, two, three, four. Um, I think it was his name sometimes. I oh, know it's not. I, mean, I haven't done much research on this. I mean, I mean, not really much research. I meant to say, like, inside, investigating inside. But, anyways, this is a, um, I think we're going to call it mod, um, um, model or pattern 1941 utility HPT jacket or uniform and it has all his name stencils on it and it has his ranking and it has uh... I don't know, just re I think it's a really nice piece. I'm really happy I got this. And in a couple of days, I'm pretty sure this is a four day weekend so I, I'll basically have time to post another video and two items I'm pretty sure will be coming in this week. And I haven't shown you my back yet but if you want to see it, you know, what the hell. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to give it a secret and hold on for a while. It's really cool. I'm looking behind me. I, over Christmas, I got these really cool things, um, really cool, um, like, uh, hangers and, uh, metal, sh um, shelves, metal shelves, and, um, there's five met um, shelves on it, and there's, um, uh, metal poles for supporting all of them, and then there's one that's a, um, closet, like a, a clothes hanger with, uh, four metal poles, like, just like the other one, with a shelf on top of it and below it. Really nice and carry like all my wool, my wool coat on there too. Anyways, getting on, getting off topic. Anyways, but here's the um pattern third um third pattern canteen canteen cover with a can with the canteen inside of it. And yeah, that's it, guys. So yeah, I'm not sure the dates inside canteen cup and canteen, but that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned something from this and hopefully you guys have a great weekend. 
a great day, and a happy new year. That's a super late happy new year, but anyways, happy new year, and please like, and of course subscribe, and I want to give a big shout out to Alex, he had just gone on YouTube, and he's really cool, and he's posting Vietnam videos, he has one so far, and I think you guys should go subscribe to him, he's trying his best to get up there, and I think he will, because he is doing great. Anyways, it's kind of awkward. I just said that. I'm making really no sense. Um, audios and compadres, blah blah blah. Ran like gosh, goosh, make making no sense. Kind of awkward. Um, anyways, my wry humor is so boring, isn't it? Right. Anyways, subscribe, like, and big shout out to Alex. All right, I'll post his um his a uh, um description and his channel and link below. And audios, like, and subscribe.